I want to do a little uh, update on my solar power uh, project here. I took everybody's advice that uh, thought it was good, you know, get, go ahead and add two, you know, more batteries. So I went and got the exact same batteries, and I mean, they could have even been made at the same time because it was, you know, same store, same shelf. So they should all be identical. Um, I know my wiring job looks a little. That looks like extra, but I kind of need to rearrange the batteries, but it's okay. I had. These are all 6 volt batteries. So I got these two tied together, which will equal 12 volts. These two tied in a series together, so that makes 12 volts. And then I hooked this this pair of batteries to this pair of batteries and parallel so if you know you know what I'm talking about if if you know about that but the series means you hook a two batteries and you hook the negative and positive together on two of them and that will double your voltage so in parallel you hook positive to positive and negative to negative and you will just you'll keep the same voltage but I'm increasing my capacity to store power and that's why this wire here is so long it was just jumping that far but I had to make the positive leg that long so I kept the wires you know the same length um, just like these little jumpers for the series, I tried to make them the exact same length uh, and keep everything equal. Uh, so far, I hadn't seen any problems. I still really haven't loaded the system down much um, to see what it and all it will do. Um, you can see, yeah, the see it's in the, it's a nice bright sunny day, and the batteries are at capacity. Um, and what I noticed a while ago, see it's only showing that I got three amps of solar power coming in. But what I figured out, let me put a little load on it here. Well, there wasn't much load. But anyway, the more I turned on, the, the more amperage it would allow to come in. Uh, uh, right there, we, it's still throwing 15 amps to the batteries. And if I like this, it, the LED, from what I gather, what, it just means it's topped off and it's just maintaining, like a little maintain voltage. So I'm all at capacity right now. Um, thinking about going ahead and putting my refrigerator on it to see what it does. Um, but anyway, just kind of a little update on what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, I did add the batteries. Uh, I actually did that last week. Uh, but anyway, just solar update. Well, I have a couple of trees that I should have cut down years ago. They were leaning toward over my house actually. And uh, then plus they was blocking the sun to my solar panels. I mean, there's still a lot of trees up there blocking the sun, but these were right here beside the house. And uh, <laughs> I did pretty good. They didn't hit the house, but boy, they landed right beside her. <laughs> Now, they wasn't huge trees, but uh, it was just several little trees. And, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Alright. <clears throat> this one was leaning right over the house. And I took a steel cable and a come-along. And I... 
should have videoed it, but I was afraid it'd be like bad karma or something, and that would just cause it to hit the house like I was bragging or something. But uh, anyway, and I I pulled it damn near halfway down, uh, and then I'd cut on a little bit, and it would move, and I would you know take up some more slack and. I did pretty good. It, it it still fell on the house actually, <laughs> but just the top of it fell on the house, and and luckily all it did it did damage a gutter just a little bit. It's a jungle in here now, uh, but really not bad. I mean I can just put it right back. So this and actually this was laying on the house. I cut it and threw it off the top of the house. But I mean, the part that was on the roof was only, you know, this big around. And the cable kind of slowed it down and allowed it to, it was a gentle fall, I guess you'd say. <laughs> but uh, somehow I was able to, to not damage anything. Like I say, just a little bit of gutter damage, but not bad. Not nothing a few nails won't take care of, and you never know the difference. Uh, so that kind of opened the woods up. I know I should have done a before and after shot, because this, yeah, you won't be able to tell a difference, but I can tell a big difference. Uh, plus, like I said, there was a few trees that just were leaning toward the house. They had to go, and. Um, can't tell it, but let me see if I can walk over here. All right. This is how deep I am in trees. <laughs> I'm holding this at head level. So, I got a lot of brush here I need to clean up. <laughs> That's kind of part of my solar deal. It was just, I was going up there to look at the panels and decided today these trees got to go. And uh, so they went. Mm. Enough lumberjacking for today. I'm sweating way too much. It's time to chill out. <laughs> 